I just need you to stop being nice to me unless you're gonna marry me. This feels like a trick. There are many people who never get married. Ooh. Look at Al Pacino. Never been married. Happy as a clam. Would that, am I, would I be Al Pacino in this scenario? Every movie we've made, whether it's a Charlie's Angels or this movie, you know, it's good vibes on the set and do your best work and have, make friends while doing it. Um, <laughs> Boss Lady Drew, the best. I didn't, I love her. Are you kidding me? Did you, did you see her? Did you talk with her? Imagine that being hard. I mean, she was just, you know, the long hours, she didn't feed us. No, she's absolutely a dream to work with. She's a dream to work with as an actor, and everybody on the set just loves her because she's such a class act. And I miss the days where you had one phone number and one answering machine, and that one answering machine housed one cassette tape, and that one cassette tape either had a message from the guy or it didn't. And now you just have to go around checking all these different portals just to get rejected by seven different technologies. It's exhausting. I'm a big fan of hers. I think she's just marvelous. I wish she was around. She was never there when I was working. I am the luckiest woman in the world that I have boss lady Drew Barrymore. I mean, she's exactly what, she's down there somewhere. She's exactly what you would want her to be. She's infectious and joyful and makes incredible creative choices. And it was honestly one of the most chill, happy, fun sets I've ever been on. Were you obsessing, pacing back and forth, staring at your phone for days? Maybe he lost my number, or is out of town, or got hit by a cab. Or maybe he has no interest in seeing you again. No guy actually wants to get married. And if they do, all they're really thinking about, all the women they're gonna miss out on. I don't wanna be with anybody else, I just wanna be with Beth.